Hello, my name is Tim, also known as Timothy the Adventure, and I'm a community manager of Resistance and Liberation. It's been 5 months without a news update, and we want to thank you for your patience and sticking around. Us, the developers, have been both really busy working on the game and our outside lives as well. That's why we couldn't update you sooner, but that does mean we got a lot more stuff to show off than usually. Stefan, our lead designer, has worked on a load of stuff. He finished modeling and texturing the K98 and is currently working on replacing parts of our vegetation. As well as adding new vehicles like the Opal Blitz. On top of that, he also added grenades to have them tested out by a great alpha testing team and make them feel just right. But maybe one of the main aspects he worked on and where we think you guys would be most excited about as well, he has been working on another map named Iglise which is already in the playtesting phase. Corneal, our coder, has been working on making the weapons feel just right with changing the recoil of the weapons, and making the weapons accurate where it fits, while adding procedural sway to them while moving and getting exhausted. Tyler, one of our 3D artists, has finished texturing and modeling the chapel which will be added in Lafier. Next and finally, our other 3D artist, Paul, has also been very busy modeling the R35 tank. Finally, we would just like to thank you for your continuous support. We're still working on the game and going strong. We're always looking for new members to join our team and help us make this game look and play great again. The skills we require most currently are level designers with a strong background in designing competitive multiplayer levels and 3D artists. If you think you can help, don't hesitate to approach us. If you want to help, but think your skills are not sufficient yet, contact us anyway, since this team is a place where people can grow over time. We do not expect AAA level quality overnight. That was it for this update, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to post them in the comments below and stay tuned for more news updates coming in 2017.